Hello students, welcome back to the session. So in this session, we will be studying about what do you mean by Zima effect. See, as we discuss the failure of uh, Bohr's atomic model, so this effect that is what we call as the Zima effect is nothing but the splitting up of the spectral line in the presence of the magnetic field is known as the Zima effect. So whenever we have any source of uh, light which is produced in the spectrum, so if this source is placed in the magnetic field, so there is a spreading up of the spectral line. That is, whenever we, we place a source of uh, light which is produced in a spectrum in the presence of the magnetic field, so there is splitting up of spectral lines. So this is what we call as the Zeeman effect. So this is one of the failure of the Bohr's atomic model. So in order to explain this Bohr's atomic, that is the failure of Bohr's atomic model, that is to explain the Zeeman effect. So we are going to consider the quantum conditions. So by including the quantum conditions, we are going to explain the Zeeman effect. So once again, we shall repeat that. What do you mean by Zeeman effect means that is whenever we have any source which is producing the spectrum, it is when it is placed in the magnetic field. If there is a spreading up of the spectral lines into two or more components, that is what we call it as a Zeeman effect. So this Zeeman effect is divided into two types. One is normal Zeeman effect and the other is anomalous Zeeman effect. There are two types of Zeeman effect. So what do you mean by Zeeman effect? It is nothing but the splitting up of the spectral line in the presence of the external magnetic field is what we call as the Zeeman effect. So Zeeman effect is classified into two types. One is the normal Zeeman effect and the other is the anomalous Zeeman effect. The word anomalous itself reflects that is something unusual, that is which is not normal. So that is known as uh, anomalous Zeeman effect. See in case of uh, what do you mean by normal Zeeman effect means? If the splitting up of the spectral line takes place in a uh, strong magnetic field, strong magnetic field, if the splitting takes place, then that is known as the normal Zeeman effect. And if the splitting of the spectral line takes place in a weak magnetic field, so then such type of Zeeman effect is what we call it as the anomalous Zeeman effect. Basis on the field, that is based on the field. So if there is a splitting up of the spectral line in the presence of the strong magnetic field, then that is known as the normal Zeeman effect. And if there is a splitting up of the spectral line, whenever the source is kept in the uh, weak magnetic field or ordinary magnetic field, that is what we call as the anomalous Zeeman effect. Based on, this is the based on, the that is the classification of Zeeman effect based on the field, magnetic field that you are choosing to place the source of light. Now, based on the spreading up of the spectral lines, so the uh, Zeeman effect is classified into normal and anomalous Zeeman effect. So, if there is splitting up of the spectral line into two or more, there is two or three components, it should be specified, two or three components, then the type of the Zeeman effect is called as normal Zeeman effect. And if there is a splitting up of the spectral line, Okay, so into three or more components, then such type of uh, Zeeman effect is what we call as the anomalous Zeeman effect. So listen students once again, if the spectral line splits into two or more, I mean two or three components, then that is called as normal Zeeman effect. And if the splitting is more than three, that is four or more components, then such type of uh, Zeeman effect is what we call as the normal Zeeman effect. So this is about the Zeeman effect. The theory about Zeeman effect will be in the next video, upcoming video. Thank you.